travels I'm going to do an updated fast pass video for you uh, Disney has changed the way that the fast passes can now be made and so this is May 2016 so this is the most recent way to make your fast passes on the Disney website and if you need help setting up your my Disney experience account which you can get to here in the corner on the Disney website um, I do have another video that you may want to look at just to learn how to do that before setting your fast passes up and remember, if you are staying on Disney property, this is going to be 60 days before you arrive, you can make fast passes. If you are not staying on Disney property, it's 30 days. All right, so first thing you'll do is you'll just go to the Fast Pass Plus option located under the My Disney Experience menu. And this is where it starts looking a little different. It's got a brief description here of what a Fast Pass is, if you are unsure, but we get three that we can choose per day. But now this whole system will let me choose less than three if I want to, which I do have a day where we're getting in late to the park, so I will only need two fast passes. All right, you'll click on Get Started. It's gonna show you options for people that are gonna go with you. Um, this time it's just my husband and I. So you'll click on who is going and traveling. You'll hit Next. It'll show your dates of your trip highlighted in blue and if you are planning on staying longer than that it will have these options available but your tickets actually don't expire until 14 days after the first use so even if you're staying for a short time and we're going to the Disney parks after your stay that is still possible okay let me see we're going to go to the 16th here so I can just kind of show you an example Okay, here are your four park options. We're gonna be visiting Hollywood Studios that day. Select a time for one experience. It's got the different levels you can choose or you can even pick a very specific time if you know of. And this is the tiered system at Hollywood Studios so I can pick one from tier one and then I'll pick two from down here. I'll know for sure that we are gonna probably be using a Toy Story Mania. I'm going to go with 10 o'clock. I'm not sure if we're going to get there at park opening, but if we are, we can probably ride Toy Story without a fast pass there. The cool thing about this is now it can let you kind of see that you have other plans at that time. So we've got a lunch reservation that morning, and then which will help me determine what times I need to think about for the fast passes. According to this, I'll be finishing my fast pass and then can walk over for lunch if I do go toward the end of that fast pass. The problem with this is because now you go single individually like this, it does take a little longer because if you have a conflict, you have to go back and select another one. I'll try to set that up so you can kind of see what that looks like. All right, so that's confirmed. We're gonna continue with the same day. Same two people are traveling. All right, I'm gonna purposely pick a attraction for the same time that I had my other one set up. Um, so that was from 10 to 11. So I'm picking T Toy Story or Twilight Zone, and here's what it will let me know. I have another Fast Pass already scheduled for that time. So the what I would do is probably write down as you go which Fast Passes you've selected, so that you don't have to get this message every time and take you know take some time away from doing this. So we'll hit the back button, and I'll make my other choices here as quickly as possible. Okay, so since my lunch is at 11, I'm going to probably go for a noon, so that'll give me like an hour, and we'll probably go with Star Tour since that's close to where we'll be eating. Again, letting me know that's when my reservation is continue the same day and the last one I'll probably go with toys or ah, I keep saying that <laughs> Tower of Terror <laughs> we're gonna do that in the afternoon 
and probably do the single rider line on the rock and roller coaster in the afternoon. We might take a break after this, so that'll be really good. Okay, 115. Okay. If I only wanted to do the two fast passes, like I said, after I had made my two, I could select a different day and move on. It doesn't require you to pick three like the old system used to. And because I already have my three, this is um, faded, so I can't click on it. I can either go on to an another day or no thanks, I'm done. And when you click on that, it kind of gives you a summary of the fast passes you made and in order in your times. I like this system a little better because it does show you the conflicting times and does allow you to only have two. It still does not let you pick two at one park and maybe a third at another. You still have to use them all at one park. And now with this new system, you guys can make your fourth additional fast pass on your app. And they used to, you only could do it at the kiosk. The downside is it does take a little longer now to do the fast pass selections. All right. If you have any questions about the new FastPass system, please leave them in the comments below. Hopefully this will give you an idea of how to make them, and it is pretty self-explanatory. I hope you have a magical day, and I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye.